So for a while now, I've been looking for two individual programs, one of which was something that was either on par or better than Skype for my normal everyday voice chatting back and forth with people over the internet. And then at the same time, I was looking for something that I can use in the background of games to use as either a guild chat or just something, you know, to talk back and forth to gamers that I'm currently playing with. I am happy to report that I actually found both in one simple program. So without further ado, here's my review of C3. Guys, Zephnix here. What you're looking at right in front of you is a program called C3. Well, I guess technically you're looking at YouTube, but on a YouTube video that I have in front of you is the program called C3. Now, C3 basically stands for Command, Control, and Communicate, which pretty much is a is basically military jargon. Now, let me just give you a walkthrough real quick and tell you what I think about this program. Now, this program is currently in beta, so you'll see things pretty much evolve as well as you'll see new features being added on here, you know, pretty soon. So on the left-hand side, you have your notifications from the people there at C3. They're the ones who go ahead and send you notifications based off of uh, if you want to go ahead and, you know, promote their channel or promote their program, rather, or whatever it is that they want to go ahead and send you. On the right-hand side is your actual recent activities. These are things that you do. And at the bottom there is pretty much the full version of whatever is in the notifications. Once you click on it, there you go. So that's pretty much that. Now, Channels. Channels is basically, well, all the channels that you either um, join multiple, your favorite channels, or your own channels. Now, this one, the first one right here, the tab is the favorites. This is the channels that you always join because these are your favorite channels. Right here is basically my channel. Now, what I like about my channel is this. Um, you can go ahead and create your own channel for your guild or your group or whatever it is to go ahead and communicate through. But at the same time, you can go ahead and create sub channels on this as well. So like subgroups can go ahead and chat at the same time. That can be found under here or channel tree. So channel tree will also give you kind of a rundown basically of all the channels that are hooked up to your one particular um, channel. For example, my guild is called the New Warriors. And at the bottom here is a sub channel from right here that's connected to that. Now it's not a real sub channel. I'm just using that to go ahead and kind of show you how it works. So I can go ahead and create channels under this ch sub channel or I can go ahead under here and create multiple sub channels there. So it works out pretty well. Uh, you can also do the search function. Now, I can um, go ahead and search for multiple people who are currently connected to this particular program if I wanted to. And through that, we can go ahead and chat or do whatever we want. Last but not least, of course, is in fact the create a channel area here. This is where I can go ahead and create whatever channel that my heart desires. So I can go ahead and just click on that and say, there you go. Now, of course, you've got your friends tab right here for friends that I'm actually connected to. I'm not going to click on it, but I'm just going to let you know that there is a friends tab. Um... At the same time, you got your Facebook tab right here. This is where you can actually go ahead and connect your actual, uh, this actual program to Facebook so you can talk to people through Facebook, which I think is pretty cool. You also have telephone where you can go ahead and make telephone calls through here. Once again, I'm not going to show that because, you know, I was actually calling my own phone. So that was actually pretty cool, though. It does actually connect to the phone, by the way. Um, now you also have here settings. Now settings is pretty much, and this is actually pretty cool because it has a, a variety of settings here. Uh, which allows you to do multiple things here. So right here you have your ability to go ahead and actually um, decide on what you want your input to be or what you want your output to be. So you can go ahead and set your microphone to one thing and at the same time set the output for your speaking into another device. Or it doesn't have to be your speakers, but it could be you know your headphones while your gaming comes out your actual gaming speakers you know so whatever you want might whatever that you want right here is voice where it allows you to go ahead and choose if you want voice activated which basically means that it'll go ahead and while you're talking it'll go ahead and you be used like that um push to talk um voice font which is basically turn it to chickmunk sound or whatever um as an understand it um jinxaw is actually sounds like darth vader i'm you can't actually hear it but i've actually heard that um, and then here's also the broadcast where you can go ahead and broadcast the multiple channels or just one channel. 
Uh, right here is, of course, um, the sounds that you wanted, where you want notifications that uh, someone has joined the chat or whatever it may be. Uh, pop-ups are right here where you want the pop-ups to join up. And, of course, my favorite is text-to-speech, which allows you to go ahead and um, hear people who actually don't have their microphones working, but they may have, you know, they may want to text to you. So they can go ahead and text. And, of course, right here is, of course, the different skins that you can go ahead and change if you want to at, at, at any well time. There you go. So that works out very well. Uh, of course, you have uh, run at startup, performance, and blah, blah, blah. So it actually works out pretty, pretty, pretty well. Going back to channels, right? I'm sorry, not channels, but going to your actual chat here. Now, when you have a um, chat room open right here, it'll show brightness tab right here above you. This is basically my chat right here. I can go ahead and um, click on myself here. I can go ahead and set up my own actual um, program right here, or rather profile right here, where you can go ahead and change your um, your picture, give some information on yourself. Um, I'm apparently a C3 addict. I wasn't aware of that, but I guess I really am. Uh, and then, of course, show my recent channels that I'm connected to, whether it be uh, New Warriors Chat, which is my guild chat, or Hot Horny Teenagers from Dimension X. There you go. It'll be right there. Um, so that actually works. Um, you can actually edit the channels that you're currently connected to, or you can go ahead into the chat right here where you can go ahead and say something. Now, of course, it's me. So um, when it's me, it's not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to hear my chat. But if someone else was actually chatting to me, it would say whoever's chatting their name and say, you know, hi world. So it actually works out pretty well once again. Uh, and of course, I can go ahead and edit this channel, you know, whenever I want to. It goes up to, you know, basically the creator channel as the creator channel is. But I can edit the, mon um, the moderators, I can reset it, hit OK, delete the whole channel in general, uh, make it public, private, which I actually keep this one to private, uh, change the name to the chat, put the description at the bottom, whatever I want to do. I can also go ahead and add a picture. In this particular case, I added a, excuse me, in this particular case, I added a, um, a picture right here of Guild Wars 2. So it works out very well. Now, my thoughts about this is that I know you guys can't currently see it right now. But I actually have a, um, ba okay, I'm sorry, real quick. Sorry, I was looking at my text thing. So right here, if you look right here, this is basically uh, what it looks like when you're actual chatting. So it actually gives you a readout in terms of, um, you know, when you're chatting here. And I can go ahead and bring the microphone up some or bring it down some, you know. And then when you have someone else chatting in front of you here, um, you can also go ahead and do the exact same thing to them where you can give them some more feed for those who don't have, you know, good microphones or whatever the case may be. Overall, I think that the program is very good. The voice quality is fantastic. Uh, I do apologize that I couldn't give you guys a, um, a, a test, but I got to say with the ability to go ahead and um, modify other people's uh, voices, you know, in terms of like the, um, if you want to bring it louder or bring it softer, which basically uh, destroys that whole situation where someone might have an overpowering mic, you can actually modify it to go ahead and fix that by simply taking under their name and taking the sliders and bringing it up or bringing it down. So... My, per my opinion on this program is it really beats the hell out of every any expectation that I've actually had, rather, excuse me, for any other program, especially Skype. This one works out way better than Skype. Uh, in my opinion, out of a 1 to 10, I definitely give it about a 9.5. Uh, the only thing that I'm really missing from here that I really would like to see, and I'm being honest with you guys, is some form of video chat. I would love to see a video chat right here. Um, and hopefully it would be a video chat that you can actually have connected to your actual game. For example, maybe, you know, like little box of squares with the actual person's video on it, where you can go ahead and take that particular square and move it anywhere you want on the screen to the part where maybe you can put it over their actual, um, you know, where their, their gaming profile is and you can see their faces or whatever. I'm just saying, giving some you know, thoughts on it. Anyway, I'm just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that this is a great program. If you guys are interested in a new type of program such as this, you want to follow in the link below and you can go ahead and take you directly to their website. Without further ado, my name is Zephyrnix. You guys have a good night. Zeph out.